Alright guys, so it's been about an hour and I actually uh, <clears throat> whipped up one of my old uh, builds here for Kwaki Meru Fire Fist. It's, it's a super simple deck. It's supposed to be. I mean, it's got nine search cards basically. So it's trying to be as fast and consistent as possible and I cut it down. I used to run three Iron Core of Kwaki Meru, but this time I'm actually running two because I do not want to draw these if I can't use them. So... I don't want to draw multiples either, so... Yeah, let's go. Dual room. Dual room. Kawaki fist. Kawaki fist. Alright, let's see. Let's see who wants to play. No law. No law. Alright, let's see. Who wants to face the Dragon Queen? Fast accept. Alright. Paper. Oh, I, I chose rock. I didn't even choose paper. If I had chosen what I said, I would have lost. Alright, first. First. Uh, every YouTube commenter ever. First. All right, let's see. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We got good stuff. Uh, bam! Gonna get this thing, and I'm gonna search for Urnite. So I love having that card in my hand. Urnite, Urnite, Urnite. Bam! So I'll grab him. Start thinning out my deck. And I'll summon you. And I'll fet you. And I'll fet you, you cutie pie. And there you go. There you go. Alright, Fiendish Chain. It's a good card. It's a good card. I wonder what this fuckboy's running. Twin Twisters. Fuck. That's. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? That's just fantastic. Great. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it's going to be a terrible, terrible game. Uh, oh no, he's playing dragons. This is sad. I used to play dragons a while ago. It was after, uh, it was a format right after all the big dragons got basically just fucked on. Okay, is it some sort of new archetype that I don't know about? Ka Dragon. I wonder if this is an archetype. Gospel of Revival. Is it like a weird level seven dragon deck? It's probably it's probably no they banned those, didn't they? Man, I don't even know. Special summon uh, banish it. Okay. Whoops. Banish. Bam. Alright, let's see. He's gonna attack us. He's gonna destroy our, our, our bear and we're gonna take some damage. Damage We're gonna take some Joe DiMaggio. Uh, topical humor about people in TV shows. Ah, man. Alright. Effect of stone. Oh, they made a new stone card. Okay. I'm fucked. Oh, never mind. Maybe I'm not. Normal summon. Effect. So let me just go ahead and special summon Crusader. Special summon Crusader. Can I do it in defense position? Okay. I'll try to get something going here. These are two. This F, this this is have to be. That's just beast warrior types, right? So. But can I really get over anything with this, or do I need to do something different? Ah, oh, stuff the deck. Ah, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, I don't know what to do. I think, I think I'm gonna go with, with Tiger King. No, I'll just go. I'll go Castle. Yeah, I'll go Castle, and then I'll activate his effect, and I'll get rid of the blue eyes. I don't know if this has any super crazy effects. No, not after it's summoned. So, God, that was a terrible, terrible move. <laughs> I have no idea what to do right now. I'm probably going to get wrecked. This kid seems like he knows what he's doing, and I whipped this deck up in about five minutes. Twin Twisters. That's one of the problems with this deck, it can't get over a lot of stuff. So he sent this to the graveyard. Oh, it's a blue eyes deck. That's pretty cool. 
No tuna monster in the graveyard. Da, 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 da. Okay. <coughs> so he's summoning a level 1 monster, so he could sink for a level 9. Which, you know, once again, is just going to be terrible, terrible, terrible for me. So he's summoning this, and he's going to sink, and then add up, and, uh, what? So he's going to synchro for a level 9, and then be able to summon a blue eyes at the end of the turn. Or not. What is, what? Effective priest. Priest? What? Oh, I missed it. Okay. Well, I'm going to take, like, 3,000. That's fantastic. Soul charge, save me. Save me, soul charge. Oh, shit, he can never live for Felgrand, too. No. <laughs> oh, God. This deck is not competitive. I need to get some sort of more competitive deck if I want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Because this is terrible. I don't know why I did the, the boob squeeze type thing. Ah, uh, come on. Just some already. Okay, never mind. He's not going to do... Do do fell grand right because that's okay. Now, do I want to do soul charge or pot of duality? What could I do with 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 with, with soul charge? Uh, what could I do with soul charge? Wait, why did I? Oh, I should have revealed this. This is still in my hand. I forgot. I didn't have to discard this. Our knight just says reveal. <clears throat> okay, so so if I soul charge, that means I can go. I can pay three thousand, and I can get these guys back. I can go this guy, this guy, this guy, then reveal, activate our knight's effect, and I can special summon. Another Crusader. And then I can overlay these guys and attack. And I can get this and get this. Okay, so I can have a decent uh, experience here. I can go ahead and search. Well, I didn't so I didn't normal summon this turn yet, so I could go ahead and search another uh Urnite. And then, oh, whoops, skip the step, skip the step, skip the step. <laughs> whoops, skipped a step. Sorry, mate. Said 10 key. Right, because I can, yeah, that only applies to, Tinky. The first turn. Ah, okay, cool. So now I get my Urnite. So now I can uh, normal summon my Urnite and then go ahead and activate his effect again. That's uh, the great thing about Urnite is it's not once per turn. So I can go ahead and grab another Crusader and I can overlay you guys. <coughs> and what else can I do this turn? What do I what do I want to get here? I I could do another castle, and I could get rid of one of his monsters, or I could do Heartland Draco. I'll make a Heartland Draco into castle. Heartland Draco, and I don't want to do Emerald. What do I want to do with this? Tiger King, so I can get another card next turn. No, I think I'll just go Castle of the Sky Blaster Mustard here. No, I need to get rid of something. I need to do something to get rid of both of those. Yeah, I'll do castle. Okay, so 2,500. 
I need to get over so I can get over this 2000. That's that's no that's no big deal. Face down. Face down. Face down, bitches. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huh? What? Okay, so face down. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I should have made another castle. Or or some other monster. I should have made something else here. Um, <clears throat> face down. Face down. Get rid of it. And then um, I don't get a battle face. Fuck! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... <laughs> I feel like an idiot. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I admit defeat. I'm an idiot. I didn't think that through at all. I'm terrible at Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and play one more uh, really quick game. Uh, and then I'll end this video. But I just wanted to showcase the Kawaki Mero engine. There, like you saw, I mean, I, I sort of went off from one card. And so, um, that's all it really needs. You know, only really need one card to just sort of go off and do whatever the hell you want with uh, Kwaki Meru, because then the entire engine starts throwing itself together. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to need to activate this so I can grab my iron core. And that should be really good, so I can try to get something with bear later on. Get an urnite and then start my engine. Uh, iron core of Kawaki Meru. Okay. So I'm going to summon Bear, and I'm going to set Solemn Strike, and I'm going to set Fiendish Chain. The Solemn Strike, it stops a special summon or a monster effect. And I don't think that includes inherent summons. <coughs> okay, so Gemini Elf? Okay. <laughs> what exactly is going on here? I mean... It has some high attack, but <laughs> other than that, I don't really know what the... Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> this is a really old deck. This is like something from... Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, this is like... I don't know if he's just trolling or something, or if he just really doesn't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! Or about how to be competitive. Now, I don't know if, you, if I even wanted to feign this chain, this solemn strike. Well, you can't summon it. You just, okay, there you go. Good, good, good. So it's a tune deck, or maybe like a Pegasus deck? I'm not even sure. Oh, so he's not even going to attack me. Okay. <laughs> I suppose I'm okay with that. Um, so... He's got 1900, so yeah, I can, I can, I can summon him, and then I think, I think I'll be able to just go ahead and attack right over this guy, right? Right? We should both die, but I'll get the effect. Then there's a cocky mirror hand from your graveyard to your hand, so, effect, crusader. So now with the effect of crusader, since I destroyed his mo uh, monster by battle, I can add this cocky mirror with diamond core back to my hand, and then I can activate uh, my, my diamond core, cocky mirror, and get my... Urnite to my hand, which is which is really good. Um, <coughs> oh, I should have. Well, eh, that wouldn't have been good. Um, so let's see. Solemn strike, finish chain. Okay. So, uh, so now I can attack directly with bear, right? And then, well, I get it. Oh, I, he already he already counted for it. That's fine. Okay. Um, so I will uh, go ahead and set ten key. And then battle on main phase two, I'll activate Tenki, and I will uh, add. Do I want to add a Urnite or do I want? Yeah, no, I'll add uh, Wolf Bark. <coughs> so Wolf Bark, and then uh, looks good. Fancy dancy. So I'm in a really good position right now. I've got two separate engines and a way to get rid of some back row should I need to. And I can get rid of monsters with bear, and I can stop some card effect or, uh, well, two effects uh, or a special summon here. So, and an attack. So so I'm in a really, really good position, and he's just going to keep searching tune monsters. <laughs> 
oh no <laughs> I when I uh, when I wanted this extra second duel I wanted something easy but not <laughs> maybe not this easy <sighs> maybe not quite this easy <sighs> Jesus well what's his it looks like he's won some duels I don't know if it's with this deck exactly he's using needle wall yeah, th th why would you use that? I don't understand. Once per turn during his time, I will six. Change your opponent's monster cards to five and destroy the monster. God, that's well. I mean, if you want to have like a super chance based deck, well, Yu Gi Oh is already too chance based in itself. I wouldn't use a card like that ever, and I, I definitely wouldn't use normal monsters unless it's like something similar to Dino Rabbit, or I think Jurax also use those. Maybe I don't know. Um... So we have T Toon Goblin Attack Force. Sure. So he's probably going to summon summon that, I'd assume. And try to attack over my bear. Yeah, okay. So... This, uh, okay. Okay, then? I guess he's not going to do anything with that. All right. Well, that's that's fine for us. Uh, for Tenki, I think I'm going to go ahead and search another Urnite because <clears throat> now I can do something that's really cheesy and hopefully be able to take him down this turn. So we'll Urnite, and then I'll activate Urnite's effect. I'll reveal Quakimiru, and then I can summon a Crusader. Then I can overlay for a Tiger King. And then activating Tiger King's effect, I can go ahead and use uh, Tensu. And then by Tensu's effect, I can summon another Urnite, revealing my core of Kwakimiru. And then I can go ahead and summon another Crusader. And now I'm really well set. I can do a lot with this. This guy has 2,500 attack, so I can attack over his Goblin attack force, because I've got 2,500 attack. So he takes that much, and then, is there, no, there's no effect here. There's no effect here, yeah, so he's, I don't know why he's viewing his graveyard. He can't really do anything with it, so. But he'll take, um, 1,900, 2,300. Well, is this just Fire Fist monsters, or is it, oh, Beast Warrior monsters. So 100 more for the last two. So he'll be at 1100. Uh, so we're in a really good position. So now uh, 1100. 1100. You need to take by take away one more. Okay. So now I can go ahead and do some more cheeky stuff. I want to get an emerald. That's the one thing I want to do. I want to get an emerald so I can use my urnite again next turn. So I want to go ahead and summon emerald in attack position. And then I'll use his effect to... What is it again? Three in the graveyard. Oh, I don't have three in the graveyard. Never mind. I can't use Emerald's effect. I can't use Emerald's effect. So, eek. Eek, that's terrible. Uh, what do I do here? Can I... Well, if I do this... Okay, if I do this, I can do stuff. So, hold on. I'm going to activate this effect first, and then this effect. Oh, whoops. To grave, to grave, to grave. Okay, and then put these back into my deck. No, 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 you're alive. I misclicked. I'm using Beast King, then Emerald. Okay, so, wait, but I can't do that either. Uh, he doesn't know, it doesn't matter, I'm a terrible person. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just sort of trying to showcase what Kawakimaru can do anyway, so. As long as I can just sort of get a general idea and show people a general idea of what Kawakimiro can do, I'm not concerned with, well, following the rules exactly. Uh, you know, obviously, Emmer would have been negated by this, but I could have used it earlier this turn, so let's just say I did use it earlier in the turn, and blah, 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 blah. He, he might be smart enough to catch it. If he is, I'll, I'll, if he is, I'll go back. 
That's one of the most important things in Yu-Gi-Oh! is you have to catch your opponent doing things like this, because there's a lot of really weird rulings, a lot of situations, a lot of complicated situations in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where, oh, he quit. <laughs> Let's see what I would have gotten next turn. Another tanky. So I this is an example of what uh, of what this deck can do under really good situations and under me sort of <laughs> bending the rules a little bit. I mean, there w it was a situation that I could have done. I would have just had to detach from Tiger King before I overlaid. So, yeah, this is Quakimero Fire Fist. If you guys want to have me put more videos up with this deck or, you know, sort of modernize it a little bit with some new cards that have come out in the last year and a half or two since I've stopped playing, let me know. And uh, for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.